All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about how to install Forge for Minecraft 1.14.4. This should work for basically any version of Minecraft, maybe not some of the older versions, and it's a relatively simple process. The first thing you gotta do is go to the Forge website and find the version of Minecraft Forge that you want. It should match up to the version of Minecraft that you're installing it into. In this case, I'm doing the newest version of 1.14.4. And we're going to hit this little button down here that says Installer on it. And this is going to want to download a JAR file, which is just a Java executable file. And I'm going to put it into a Minsraft Minecraft folder that I have already pre-prepared and download that. Once that's downloaded, let me just open up that file. You'll want to double click on it or right click and go open with. And we're going to open this with Java Platform SE Binary. If you don't have this or it throws an error, what you're going to have to do is go and look for this. Just Google this. This is a development platform for Java that you just have to create an account on their website and download the 64-bit version for your computer in order to install this. It's free. Just go ahead and do that and then you'll be on your way to the next step. So we'll tell it to launch with that. And this is going to open up a program that's going to install this for us so that there's less fuss and muss with trying to like copy over files like you used to. So I just wanted to install the client version. I don't need to install the server, although we could tell it to extract the data somewhere for us to install ourselves manually. And we're just gonna click on okay. And what this is going to do is it's just going to go through the process of copying over all of the necessary files to install Forge. And provided you don't get any funny errors that you have to Google, this should complete in only a couple of minutes. And then you'll be off to the races to go find some mods to install inside of Minecraft so that you can use those to expand upon whatever's going on and play with your friends in some sort of crazy mod pack that they've put together. All right, there we go. Once it's completed, it should have another little pop-up window that says successfully installed the client profile Forge version 1.14.4 into the launcher, and it downloaded 43 different libraries. So now that that's done, I can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. So here is the Java edition for the Minecraft launcher, and down here, there's this little pull-down menu that allows me to select what version of Minecraft that I'd like to play. Now, if you're playing with a public server and you're not wanting to mess around with the Java edition for Forge, then you can just go down here and click on the latest release and play that. But if you want to play with your mods, you'll have to open it up with the Forge version and then click play. So just remember to check what version you're on so that you don't screw it up and then have an error when you're trying to connect to a vanilla server or vice versa. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to install Minecraft Java edition. If you need any help, let me know. I'm more than happy to walk you through any additional steps to get this installed, most notably what you do with the Java SE binary. So if we go to Google, we could go to uh, Java SE development kit. And if you see the Java SE development kit, all we have to do is go to Oracle's website here. And then we click on accept the licensing terms. And then you click on this button down here to install Windows 64 bit. And you will need to have some kind of account with the Java website. It's free to set up and do, and then just click on this, install it, and then everything should install itself just fine, and you'll be able to run this installer to get everything working on your computer. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Again, don't forget to like and comment if you need any help, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.